Taking away from Mark West, moving down, right side to Byron Scott, get out of his way. Cotton Fitzsimmons said, that's nothing. Well, the Suns did have a run of their own, but the Lakers turned it back on. Magic Johnson again, beautiful pass, one of his 20 assists. James Worthy, two of his 20 points. Lakers by five. Orlando Woolridge coming off the bench, another big game here. The back door from Worthy and the jam, take that. He had 14, Lakers by 10. And Michael Cooper said, take this to Jeff Hornacek. Michael, up close and personal. Lakers by 12 at the half. Is it me or does Jack Nicholson need a haircut? We're in the fourth quarter and check this out. Byron Scott moving down the lane around Gilliam, around Chambers, and Eddie Johnson falling down off the glass and in. Lakers up 99-90, but Phoenix cut it to three. Chambers taking the pass and jamming for two of his game high, 41. Suns down by three. Kareem couldn't believe his eyes. Lakers made six free throws in the final 38 seconds. Byron Scott got him to the dance. He had the honor of the last one. Lakers sweep the Suns away, 122 to 117. 122 to 117, the final score again. Now the Lakers will await the winner of the Detroit-Chicago series. In the locker room after the game, the players weren't overly excited about sweeping their third consecutive series. As a matter of fact, Magic Johnson said the motivating factor was that many people did not believe in the Lakers. And, and um, what we have accomplished is all on the line. And we came out to uh, prove to people we're still here. We're not that old team. Everybody's uh, we're over the hill with this and that. We're not motivated. Um, I never played on a non-motivated Laker team. I never have. Last summer, I dreamed about being able to play for the world championship, you know, win or lose. And, uh, you know, now we have a good chance. I, I think uh, we, ca we, we can win it. And, uh, you know, whoever wins between Chicago and Detroit, they can win it. It's going to be tough. But I'm, I'm real happy to be here. I'm real confident we can win every game, and I guess if we do that, we will be sweeping. Um, so far, our house cleaning has been going really well. Uh, I don't think we want to join the modern age yet and get a vacuum cleaner. We want to continue sweeping, at least winning every game we play. When you talk about the Lakers, you are talking about an experienced basketball team. On the other side of the court, the Phoenix Suns played as well as they could, but I think the experience factor really hurt them. When they needed the big hoop, when they needed the big play, they couldn't seem to put it together. And afterwards, all they could do is praise the way the Lakers played. They're playing with a lot of confidence right now. And the only team that Magic is on, they're definitely going to be in the series. And, you know, as you saw, with two minutes to go, we made the run. He made two big passes to, to boost the lead back up. And he'd done that all series. You know, they definitely show why they're the world champions because they came in our building and beat us twice and uh, played extremely well. And nobody's been able to beat us four times in a row this whole year. And they came in and did it. So they deserve a lot of credit. We played better than I've ever seen them play. You know, everybody was writing the Lakers off all season long, but you won't see a team execute and run and get the hoops and, and do all the right things any better than you saw you know, that team today. So once again, the Lakers will await the Chicago-Detroit winner. Basically, they'll have a week off, but of course that means Pat Riley will make them practice, and when he does that, they never have a week off. His practices are oftentimes tougher than the games. A little bit later on, part two of the Hall of Shame of the Decade, but right now, let's go back to Studio 10 in Burbank to one of the giants of our industry, Brett Lewis, for the rest of the day in sports. Brett. Thank you, Fred. Uh, I look much shorter on TV. 